Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Utuan Micros Gacha video. If you guys are excited for the month of April and its new events and costumes, let me know in the comment section down below. Especially those of you who were able to catch yesterday's Air Waukure 3D Live Tour. I'm sure you guys who were able to watch it happen were able to see brand new costumes being introduced into the live performance. Uh, that is definitely going to appear in April's events. If you guys were not able to catch it, it's okay. I screenshotted the costumes. You can check out on my Facebook page. The links in the description down below. As always, let me know your thoughts on the brand new costumes and of course the brand new 7 star costume that belongs to Reina. I don't know whether there will be a second costume or a second 7 star episode play. Um, you know, Dana can always spring it on us since recently it's been like a trend to have two 7 star episode plates each month for the last two months. Uh, April may be the same, but it's just that they did not show another costume that belongs to a 7 star episode plate during yesterday's live stream. So who knows, they might surprise us on the 28th, which is also the last Air Macross uh, live stream which belongs to Air Cross Over. So yeah, sadly to say, Min Mei is not getting her own personal Air Macross. Um, so she's joining the rest of the divas from the other franchises uh, to form Air Cross Over just like we had in 2019 where we had Macross Crossover Live 2019 in Japan. So yeah, um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and of course let's dive into the gacha page and to take a look at brand new um, well, brand new episode plate for Min Mei uh, you know which might be surprisingly good <laughs> to obtain so let's take a look at the stats of the episode plate right here so straight off the bat 3951 this is definitely the most powerful 6 star episode plate there is currently within time across itself and it belongs to the OG diva yeah even though Min Mei is not getting as much focus attention uh, recently uh, you know because even for M, M across you know she's not getting her own live stream but you know uh, I guess that's probably due to the fact that SDF Macross Min Mei's selection of songs isn't that many so I guess that's one of the reasons why it wouldn't have been uh, ideal to give her a, a whole air macross uh, showdown I don't know I, I don't know whether you want to call it a showdown but you know feature I think that would be a prop uh, a better word to describe it <laughs> but yeah so well balanced stats all around you know just that the voice stat is on the low end but that just shows that the the current song that we're going through features mainly on soul and charm Center skill, uh, you know, if you use the episode plate on the blue or soul series songs, units total is boosted by 35% up. So yeah, usually when you see numbers such, a, such as this, it, you know that, you know, the episode plate is not meant to be a center position episode plate. In fact, why are we still talking about center position episode plates on six star episode plates? You know, ever since the introduction of seven star episode plates, you should never be using six star episode plates um, for a center position episode plate. Uh, unless your luck has been really really horrible and you've not attained any 6 star or 7 star episode plates yet or are well technically brand new to the game so yeah you shouldn't be using this episode plate as a center position center position episode plate um so let's move along and take a look at the active skill and the life skill which is definitely the key factor of this episode plate so active skill for 5 seconds, you get a 70% boost in score, which is pretty normal for 6 star episode plates nowadays. You know, in the past, the best was definitely a 100% boost. But, like I said in all my previous videos, you know, the new episode plates are definitely more powerful than the older ones, hence why they step down on the percentage boost and, of course, the time duration that they usually give. Alright, so life skill, which is the most important thing, mode score up. So yeah, if you guys are not familiar with this skill, um, it's definitely not a skill that gives you a very good high score. It's always good to have one, I guess, with 
uh, your setup, especially when you're tackling songs that are extremely difficult that you yourself cannot full combo, um, you know, and are struggling trying to get a better score um, for your Uta grade. If you guys have no idea what all these terminologies are, please go check out my tutorial playlist. Uh, get yourself familiarized with all the terms. Uh, because it is really a hassle just to re-explain everything again. Alright, so <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys don't know what this skill does, basically if you if you hit a good or below, which is a miss and all that kind of stuff, um, it gives you a boost in, you know, that 110 boost in score uh, rather than uh, no score at all, or rather a really low percentage of score. So technically, getting a lousy tap on the performance isn't a bad thing <laughs> in the long in the the overall scoring. Uh, if you're trying, like I said, if you're trying to get a good high score or brand new high score for your Uta grade, that kind of stuff. So all right, let's take a look at the last page to see whether this episode plate is really a must get, even though the life skill isn't that fantastic. And sadly to say, the episode plate doesn't come with any special notes attached to it. So, how do I rate this episode plate? Is it a must get? I would say no, it's not a must get. The life skill isn't exactly something that you definitely need to have. Even though the total score on this episode plate is definitely the first of its kind. But that doesn't mean that future episode plates after this one will not get the same treatment. So yes, you definitely should be saving up your singing stones. Uh, and foregoing this um, gacha itself. Um, so, as usual, you know, the costume featured in the event is definitely able um, to be unlocked through event episode plates. It doesn't have to be the main featured gacha episode plate. Um, so, yeah, if you work hard enough, um, get enough episode points then just maybe feed a few episode orbs and you will have Min Mei's brand new costume unlocked but you know um, if you're a Min Mei fan definitely go ahead and maybe do a template discounted pool uh, that should be the bare minimum uh, if you get lucky you get your waifu's episode plate you unlock her costume straight off the bat you know or, uh, including the points from the event episode plates itself I think that should really cover you uh, more than enough and save up the singing stones because we still have Makina's school uniform that's coming around the corner. Um, that, that, that costume alone is only unlockable through the gacha episode plates itself so it's going to really be costly in the long run. So yeah, and the last but not least, you know, pay attention to who else is usable. Um, for this episode plate because it is currently the diva improvement event which really really uh, plays an important factor with all these um, highlighted characters that can use such episode plates all right so with that said i'm gonna do my usual stuff i'm gonna do the single free pull if the bad luck is still there we're gonna pull some more free gachas and try and flush out the good luck um, so far, it's been working for me. If you guys have found this theory useful to your own gacha pools, let me know in the comment section down below as well. So here we go guys, the single free pool. Okay, we don't get a load bar. Uh, which is generally a good thing, because what we're trying to do is to flush out the good luck. So here we go. Alright, so no evolutions on the blinks at all. We do get an episode plate that is pretty rare. Um, because I don't really have a large quantity of it. So that's kind of a good thing. And we did get a single Valkyrie animation. So I guess we are heading towards a good pool eventually. So let's just go ahead and do a few more free pools first before the main thing. I'm gonna do the afternoon free pool uh, at this top point of time that I'm recording. Okay, we do get a bit of a load there, but it is a single free pool. Okay, the single Valkyrie animation is still retaining, so I guess the luck is still there. It's just that they are waiting maybe for me to do a large pool. So maybe I shouldn't be pulling the Chojiku gacha tickets. There we go, we're getting more rare episode plates that we, I don't really have a lot of. So that's a good sign. So let's skip the Super Dimension Gacha. 
Um, and we go straight to Min Mei's template discounted pool. Nope, not this one. There we go. So here we go. Hopefully we do get something nice out of it. And it's surprising that I have that many singing stones left over. Oh yeah, there we go. Very slow load. Yes, so that might be a good sign. So if you can pick up on all these signs, I think your gacha pool should be technically very good most of the time. So we do get 3 Valkyrie animations. Alright, no red boxes in the first bling. Oh oh, one single red box, so that's not a good thing. But if we do get an episode plate with Min Mei's brand new costume points, I think we're good. There it is. That's, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, we're getting more additional points. It's gonna help in the long run. Alright, lots of points there. Okay, here we go. So no evolution on the red box. We do get some Ranka love. It's fantastic. Alright, so we didn't get anything fantastic. Not even a 5 star episode plate. But we do get the notification that we can unlock Bin Mei's costume via episode orbs. Which is always fantastic. So not a fantastic pool. Um, but you know, let's not end it here. We're gonna have something nice, we're gonna have something bling. <laughs> so let's go do that Super Dimension Gacha Pool that we held off on. Uh, maybe the luck will roll off from there. So let's let's see how things goes. Alright, template pool here. Okay. Alright, a decent load speed. There we go. One, one Valkyrie. Okay, so I guess we really drained out all the good luck already. Um, considering that we started the month strong, and eventually we still managed to pull a few five star episode plates in the last uh, two gacha videos. So this was bound to happen eventually. Okay. So if this one and oh. That's not too bad. At least we get some costume points. Okay, so it's really dry right now. So yeah, you can tell. So even if I had done the Super Dimension pool earlier, um, it might have changed the outcome for Min Mei's pool. I emphasize on the might. Um, but still. Anyway, since we didn't get any 5 star episode plates to come out this episode, I'm just gonna force one out with the guaranteed 5 star episode plate. Gacha! You can tell I've got 3 tickets there. And you have to pay attention to the expiration dates because you don't want to end up losing 5 star episode plates for no reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a single copy out right now. And let's just enjoy the fact that a 5 star <laughs> has appeared in this episode. Well, not by... Well, it technically it's by choice, but you know, it would have been nice if it came out from the regular gachas. But you know, you gotta end on a happy note. Maybe we might get a rare 5 star out of this one. Okay, so we're gonna see the red box evolve. There we go. Oh! Oh, okay, so... Aside from the last pool where we get costume points for Reina, it seems like this video... Ooh, we do get it! A new episode plate, so that's technically a good thing! <laughs> Alright, so um, it is a pretty recent Reina episode plate, but not the best out there. You know, oh, with the, oh, oh, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. It, it's definitely one of the, the better episode plates out there. It comes with a score note. And the life skill is a combo bonus, so it's actually a pretty good play. Wow! Okay. Okay, so we ended on a pretty fantastic note with a fantastic episode play for Ray Ray. Um, okay, I'm pretty happy. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, yeah, like I said, if you really want to get Min Mei's episode play, you might really want to consider your... Your... You know, weighing its usefulness to your collection. Uh, if you're Min Mei fans, definitely go for it. Because I think it's definitely a nice illustrated episode plate. It has very nice 
illustrations for its pre-evolution and its evolution form. The stats on the episode play is fantastic as well, but sadly to say it's not equipped with wonderful skills and all that stuff. But still, a pretty decent plate nonetheless. Like I said, I, it's decent, but not the best out there. So, if you guys are not Min Mei fans, definitely hold back on the Singing Stones. Um, don't forget, we still have one more gacha to go before the end of March, which is Makina's school uniform, which I am definitely looking forward to. Uh, and of course, next month is going to be exciting as well for Reina fans, for Kaname fans, for Freya fans especially, since she will be featuring a brand new set of collection, or uh, rather a brand new set of wardrobe costumes, um, which seems to be in a design of a marching band. Um, and instruments and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty interesting to look forward to, uh, to see what other uh, what other wild Cray ladies will pick up from, uh, what kind of music instruments their costume designs will be based on, that kind of stuff. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much once again. Uh, make sure to do all the good stuff, leave a like, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next Ultra Macross video. Until then, bye!